Fatima from the KSA. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, sister? Alhamdulillah. Ramadan Mubarak to you and everyone at Huda and all the Muslims all over the world. Same to you, uh, Sister Fatima. Please, Thank you so much. Please enlighten me on the color red for males, whether it is permissible or not. The color red for males. Males, yes. Okay. It is dislike because the Prophet ﷺ forbade it. Unless if the color has some other stripes or other stripes of other colors. But plain red for men is disliked, highly disliked. Okay? Barakallahu fiki. Um, now, Abad ibn Tamim, who complained to the Prophet sallallahu about the bowel movement and is not sure whether he's void his wudu like broke wind or not. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi said you should not leave the prayer until you hear a sound or you find a smell. Obviously, one would know without these two signs whether he broke wind or not. You feel it. But the question was if the person is in doubt because of the bowel movement and he's having the thoughts and the doubts, he may have void his wudu. And Nabi Sallallahu said, neglect and dismiss those doubts. Continue in your prayer. Unless if there was a sound or the smell, like something you cannot miss. So any other doubts not supported by a physical proof, should be dismissed. Should be dismissed. You already met now in Rukua, uh, in Sujood, and you started thinking, I'm not sure whether I recited my Adhkar in Rukua or not. Yes, you recited them. What were you doing in Rukua anyway? Being quiet? No, you recited them. But Satan wants to ruin your next Rukn, your next pillar, Sujood. And in the second Sajda, when you make your sujood kind of long and you get lost, did I do only one or two? Now that's a different case. Because doubts, having doubts in the number of rak'ahs or the number of units of each ibadah, whether in the prayer or tawaf, we will consider the lesser. We will consider the lesser. Somebody have doubts whether he prayed three rak'ahs only, or four, well, consider the lesser, three, and pray the extra raka'ah, then pray sujudu as sahu two prostrations for forgetfulness by the end of the prayer. You're not sure whether this is your first or second sajda in the same unit. You're not sure, you're not sure. You're in doubt. That happens a lot if the person prolonged one of the sajdas, so he forgets. Consider it only the first sajda and make another one. Then by the end, make sujudu sah. Offer the, the two prostrations of forgetfulness. Why? Because if it is really only one sajda that you've done, well, the second sajda, alhamdulillah, you fulfilled it. Because if it is only one sajda, the whole prayer will be invalid. The whole raka, then the whole prayer will be invalid, missing a unit. If it was extra, targhim al shaytan. This is just to ruin the plots of Satan and humiliate him. That I offer my prayer and I made up the sujood by the end to make up for any forgetfulness. I hope this picture of doubt is clear. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sister Fatima from the KSA. Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, Sister Fatima. Proceed on, please. Yeah. You know, if, uh, if we have a non Muslim watching the program, he may think that all Muslim women are called Fatima. Fatima from United Arab Emirates, Fatima from the KSA, Fatima from Nigeria. It's a beautiful name, though. It is the name of the most beloved daughter to Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fatima, radiallahu anha. But I just noticed that in every program, Fatima, Fatima, many, too many Fatimas, mashallah. I hope we have another call coming from Sister Fatima uh, in a few minutes. Brother Muhammad from Nigeria, what is the right time to break your fast? That is answered in ayah number 187, second chapter of the Quran. In a segment of this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, ثُمَّ أَتِمُّ الصِّيَامَ إِلَى اللَّيْلِ Continue fasting until the night. 
When does the night begin? The night begins at sunset. The night begins at sunset, which is the Maghrib time. So once you hear the Adhan for Maghrib, break your fast. You live in an area where you don't hear the Adhan, you have time. But if you can see in the horizon that the sunset already, then you can break uh, your fast. Likewise, if you're flying, and this is something very problematic to many people. Well, as long as you see the sun up there, continue fasting. Only when the sun sets and it starts getting dark, then that is the time to break uh, your fast. Barakallah fiqh. Stay up to date with your favorite shows and scholars today. Huda TV, a light in every home.